Okay, and now that I, I am now back again, guys, to now give you my AW Double or Nothing uh, 2023 uh, predictions now uh, in this video. So, yes, I have literally, again, just recorded my WWE Night of Champions uh, preview and predictions. So, this is literally, again, you know, just following on from, again, from just doing my... Uh, Night of Champions uh, predictions, which again, you can go back and see that after when I have done this. Well, you, you again, whatever order that you want to see my predictions in. But again, you know, you probably will see this after because that this will be uploaded on my channel uh, on Saturday, you know, by, by uh, Saturday and all that. Um, whereas again, my Night of Champions predictions I am uploading tonight on my channel. But uh but yeah, so now, like I said, we are switching focus, like I said, to talking about AEW, uh, All Elite Wrestling, uh, for the first time. And that this is the first time that I am doing a preview and predictions for an AEW pay-per-view this year. Because I didn't do uh, predictions for, um, for Revolution this year. I didn't end up doing my predictions for AEW Revolution 2023 guys so I do apologize that I didn't uh you know do that you know back then but I am now going to be covering uh double or nothing 2023 and there is a reason why that I am wearing my uh, Las Vegas cap and that is because that double or nothing 2023 is taking place at the T-Mobile arena in Las Vegas it is happening in Las Vegas uh as it normally does uh, except again for uh, back in 2020 when they had it, you know, um, in Jacksonville at Daly's Place. Or was that 2021? I can't remember. So, uh, so yes, and it will be the upcoming fifth annual Double or Nothing uh, event by AEW as well. Since again, going back to the first one in 2019, which was the first one. And uh, yeah, and, and like I said before, that Double or Nothing this year is again being held on the same day as NXT Battleground, um, which I talked about, you know, when I did my Night of Champions uh, prediction. So again, I won't touch on it again here, but um, but yeah, but I'm just, you know, saying so. But I do feel, though, that uh, this is going to be the, the show again that people are going to see more here. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just saying that this is going to be a more bigger deal. Now, again, like I said, this takes place on Sunday, the 28th of May, uh, 2023. And, uh, yeah, because it always, again, takes place on the last weekend of May. So uh, there we go with that now just quickly before i quickly though give you guys my predictions now that um i haven't again been seeing a lot of aw as of late and i've pretty much again just been trying to like catch up with it you know as and when but i have again been recently again been getting you know back into it you know i have been trying to get back into aw again over the last few weeks and actually again the last AEW I did see was two weeks ago when you had uh, John Moxley versus Kenny Omega in a steel cage match in that steel cage match where Don Callis uh, turned on Kenny Omega so uh, that was the last uh, Dynamite which I uh, did watch and again that was uh, two weeks ago uh, that was uh, two weeks uh, back now so, uh, yeah, so I haven't again, like I said before, I've not again been seeing a lot of AEW as of late, but, you know, but, uh, but still, you know, I've still again, you know, been seeing enough. And uh, so, yeah, so let, let's just go over the, the, uh, the match card then for Double or Nothing 2023, because again, there are a lot of matches here you know, uh, for double or nothing. So we start then, there's 10 matches in total and we start with the six-man tag team match for the AEW World Trios uh, Championship, which is the House of Black, Malachi Black, Brody King and Buddy Matthews with Julia Hart taking on the acclaimed 
of Max Caster and Anthony Bowens and uh, Daddy Ass Billy Gunn in a World Trios uh, Championship match here. Now, I'm going to pick uh, the House of Black here to, uh, to defeat the Acclaimed just because I feel that, you know, yeah, I'm going to just pick the House of Black here to win. So um, there we go with that. I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to, again, try to spend a lot of time here on each of these matches because, again, there's 10 matches again to go through. So, I mean, yeah. So I, I do think the House of Black's going to be uh, the Acclaimed just because, again, I mean, the Acclaimed, you know, did only win. Well, they were, again, only the AEW World Tag Team Champions not too long ago. So uh, there we go with that. And we, we will again, you know, see that later on in the night. Now, the next match on here is actually a pretty personal match uh, that takes place at Double or Nothing. And that is Adam Cole taking on uh, Chris Jericho in an unsanctioned match where Sabu is going to be serving as the special guest enforcer. Yes, ECW's uh, Sabu. If you remember him. So uh, now, yeah, so this uh, again has been one of the more personal matches that's headed into, uh, you know, double or nothing this year with Adam Cole and Chris Jericho. Also, again, this is the first match uh, between Adam Cole and Chris Jericho as well, which again is, is amazing to believe. And uh, but yeah, but this has been built up, you know, pretty personally. Uh, between Adam Cole and Chris Jericho. Now, this is really the first kind of big match for Adam Cole since that he's come back, you know, from his injury, you know, from the injury which uh, Adam Cole had, you know, again, you know, going coming into, uh, you know, 2023. So for Adam Cole, I mean, this is a pretty big uh, feud for him here going up against Chris Jericho. And I think, you know, likewise for Chris Jericho, this is just, again, another, you know, uh, big match for Chris Jericho as well. And again, and so, but yeah, but this has, again, been a pretty personal match here between Adam Cole and Chris Jericho because they did, you know, take out, you know, Dr. Britt Baker and all that. Well, basically, Chris Jericho and the outcasts, well, um, Soraya and Tony Storm, uh, and Ruby Soho, you know, took out, um, you know, Dr. Britt Baker, well, Adam Cole's uh, fiance and, and that. So this did again get pretty personal. Well, they hit her with a kendo stick while Adam Cole was handcuffed, you know, by uh, by Chris Jericho and, and by uh, the JAS Society, the Jericho Appreciation Society. So uh, that basically, again, made this then become more personal and Adam Cole, again, wanting to get, you know, revenge on Chris Jericho. Again, you know, for obvious reasons. Uh, so, again, this has been a good build-up, uh, you know, to this match here with Adam Cole and Chris Jericho going into Double or Nothing. I think, again, this has been one of the more better built-up matches, you know, for Double or Nothing uh, this year, in my opinion. Uh, so in terms of my prediction for this match, I'm going to pick Adam Cole to defeat uh, Chris Jericho here, even though, again, it's an unsanctioned match. And we all probably know that, again, you know, the Jericho Appreciation Society are going to get involved. Likewise, you know, uh, Roderick Strong is probably going to get involved and Bandito as well. And like I said, you know, there are going to be people getting involved uh, in this uh, unsanctioned match. Although, again, I would prefer it just again to be just a one on one match between Adam Cole and Chris Jericho. But I just feel that Adam Cole is going to defeat Chris Jericho here because I do think Adam Cole, you know, does need to get, you know, a pretty big win here at Double or Nothing. And that I think he needs this win you know, more than Chris Jericho, in my opinion. And again, it would make sense, you know, it would make sense. So I'm going to pick Adam Cole to defeat Chris Jericho. And uh, there we go with that. Now, the next match on of the night is Ethan Page and the Guns, Austin Gunn and Colton Gunn 
taking on the Hardys, uh, Matt and Jeff Hardy and Hook in a six-man tag team match. And if the Hardys and Hook win, then Matt Hardy is going to own Ethan Page's uh, contract. Now, I haven't, again, been seeing much of this feud because mainly it's been on, um, on Rampage. And so uh, I've not, again, seen a lot of uh, the build-up uh, for this uh, match, really, to, to be honest. But, yes, I mean, Jeff Hardy is back uh, in AEW now, alongside, again, Matt Hardy again, and Hook here, going against uh, Ethan Page and the Guns uh, in this six-man tag team match. And, again, it is a pretty big uh, deal because if the Hardys and Hook win then Matt Hardy will own Ethan Page's uh, contract. So it'll be interesting. So I'm, for, for that reason, I'm going to pick the Hardys to beat Ethan Page and the Guns. So there we go with that. But like I said before, I haven't again been seeing a lot of this uh, kind of build up to this match because a lot of it has been uh, on AW Rampage. And again, I don't, again, really tend to watch uh, Rampage either. Just because, again, it is pretty hard uh, to keep up with, with, with Rampage uh, on a weekly basis, you know, in AEW. So, there we go uh, with that. And the next match, then, is then a singles match for the AEW TBS uh, Championship. Jay Cargill versus Taya Valkyrie. For the uh, AEW TBS Championship. And I'm going to pick uh, Jay Cargill here to be a uh, Tyre Valkyrie. Now Jay Cargill is still undefeated uh, as the AEW TBS Champion. And, that, and she has had like an incredible undefeated streak. And uh, so yeah, like they've really again built her up well here. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to pick uh, Jay Cargill uh, to still continue her undefeated run here against Taya Valkyrie. Although, you know, we'll have to see what happens. But, you know, some people again might go against Jay Cargill and go for Taya Valkyrie uh, to get the win here. But I am going to pick though Jay Cargill to win. But uh, there we go with that. And the next match then of the night is then an Anarchy in the Arena match, which we saw uh, last year as well. And, and, and again, it has become an annual, you know, double or nothing uh, kind of staple now for the last uh, two, three years. Since again, going back to the one they did in, uh, in 2020. So, uh, so yeah, so this will be uh, the Blackpool Combat Club. Uh, Brian Danielson, John Moxley, Claudio Castanoli, and Wheeler Yuta versus the Elite, uh, Kenny Omega, Matt Jackson, and Nick Jackson, and Hangman Adam Page. And again, like I said, that we know with this match that it's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. I mean, again, there's just going to be a lot going on here in this Anarchy in the Arena match. And uh, again, this feud with the Blackpool Combat Club and the Elite has probably been the best kind of part of AEW right now, I would say, uh, to be honest. And uh, and again, that Steel Cage match, which John Moxley and uh, Kenny Omega had two weeks ago on Dynamite was one of the most uh, brutal Steel Cage matches that we've seen uh, in a while. And was a violent uh, steel cage match as well, which again, you know, which saw Kenny Omega, you know, put um, John Moxley actually through uh, the steel cage. But uh, but ultimately, John Moxley uh, defeated though Kenny Omega because Don Callis actually helped uh, John Moxley again to uh, to defeat Kenny Omega. So uh, yeah, so. Um, but like I said, this rivalry with the Blackpool Combat Club and the Elite, again, has become personal. And uh, there's been a lot of like bad blood uh, between both of these uh, factions. So um, a lot, again, has been going on. And again, I, I, I do like the Blackpool Combat Club, to be fair, you know, more than the Elite, in my opinion. That, that's just me. But I have been preferring the Blackpool Combat Club. 
just because that I think Brian Danielson and John Moxley are just like are just perfect leaders. I just think again that they've still been, you know, just been great, you know, leaders for the Blackpool Combat Club. And uh yeah, so there we go uh, with that. So like I said before, this match again is just going to be crazy. So, like I said again, just expect there to be chaos. Just expect there to be a lot going on, a lot of brawling, a lot of, you know, just crazy, you know, stuff going on. John Moxley again is probably again going to get busted open again. He'll probably bleed. You know, uh, Brian Danielson might end up bleeding. You know, Kenny Omega might end up bleeding, get getting busted open. So... So, like I said before, yeah, I mean, this match again is going to be just, again, just a crazy uh, match here. And we know, again, what to expect, like I said. We know what to what you're going to be getting here with this uh, match uh, with the Blackpool Combat Club and, and the Elite. So, uh, there we go with that. But if I have to give a prediction for this match, I'm going to say the BCC win here. I actually think the BCC are going to defeat the Elite here. Although, I mean, you know, I think if the Elite were to win, you know, that wouldn't uh, shock me either. You know, that wouldn't really uh, surprise me if the Elite wins. But I think this would benefit more, you know, to the Blackpool Combat Club and for them to get a big win here, you know, to defeat the Elite, you know. And... Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to pick the Blackpool Combat Club uh, to win here against the Elites. And again, it's actually the second time as well that the Elites is in one of these Anarchy in the Arena matches because they were in one uh, again um, before when they took on the Inner Circle, which was back in uh, 2020. So, uh, again, so they're in this one as well, the Elites. So, um there we go with that. And the next match then is then uh, Jamie Hater, Hater versus Tony Storm in a singles match for the AEW Women's uh, World Championship. Again, like there's not really been much build up here going on between uh, Jamie Hater or Tony Storm. Uh, but again, you know, Tony Storm is with the Outcast, so uh, they could probably get involved, you know, in this match. They'll probably again, you know, try and help Tony Storm to defeat Jamie Hater. But uh, if I do have to give a prediction, though, I think Jamie Hater is going to defeat Tony Storm here, just because I think now they need to keep the AEW Women's World Championship on Jamie Hater. For um, again for uh, A W all in uh London, which again would make perfect sense, you know. So uh, yeah. So Jamie Hater, I think, is going to defeat Tony Storm to retain the A W Women's World Championship. But again, you know, again, but um, but don't rule out again the possibility, like I said, that there probably will be interference. You know, from, uh, you know, again, from the outcasts and that Soraya might get involved. But I do think Jamie Hayter is going to win here against Tony Storm. And uh, there we go with that to retain the, the AEW Women's World Championship. Next up is then the Blackjack Battle Royal, a 20 man, 21 man battle royal for the AEW International Championship. Now in this match... The participants are Orange Cassidy, Ricky Starks, The Butcher and The Blade, Bandito, Commander, Lee Moriarty, Big Bill, Aria Davari, Tony Nice, um, Chuck Taylor, Trent Beretta, Kip Sabian, Ray Phoenix, Penta, Swerve Strickland, Brian Cage, Jay White, Juice Robinson, Keith Lee and Dustin Rhodes. And again... This is a match, again, to just pretty much just to get everyone onto, you know, into, uh, you know, this battle royal here and to get everyone, you know, onto uh, double or nothing pretty much just to include 
the guys again, the talents again that haven't got any matches, you know, for double or nothing. So there we go with that. But yeah, I mean, it's a battle royal. So uh, again, the, the, these battle royals again are always hard to call. Um, and I don't know if Orange Cassidy, you know, will retain the AEW International Championship. So I'm not going to give a prediction for this match just because that, you know, I just really don't know what, you know, who's going to win here. So it's a hard one to um, predict. So um, I can't really call this one. But next up then, we have Wardlow with Arn Anderson taking on Christian Cage with Luchasaurus in a ladder match for the AW TNT Championship. Now, definitely I think Wardlow here is going to probably be a uh, Christian Cage to be, you know, to retain uh, the AW TNT Championship. I mean, I don't see Christian uh, winning uh, the TNT Championship here against Wardlow. And I just think that Wardlow is going to retain uh, the TNT Championship. But yeah, this is going to be a ladder match. So, you know, this match could end up, you know, being a pretty good match here uh, for double or nothing again. So uh, there we go with that. Um, the next match then is then FTR, Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler versus Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal. In a tag team match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. And that Mark Briscoe will serve as the special guest referee. Now again, like, this is again another tough one here. I mean, you've got Mark Briscoe, who is serving as the special guest referee for this match. So really, it depends on what role that he plays, you know, uh, with this uh, match here. And the outcome. But I'm going to pick, though, FTR, Dax Harwood and Cash Wheeler to retain the AEW World Tag Team Championships over Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal. And, um, yeah, so there we go with that. And then that, lastly, then, brings me on to the main event, then, for AEW Double or Nothing 2023, which is... The uh, which will be a four pillars four way match for the AW World Championship MJF versus Sammy Guevara versus Darby Allen versus Jungle Boy uh, Jack Perry in a four way match for the AW World Championship, involving again the four pillars you know, the, the four names who helped to establish AW as well now, and again, both you know. And both, like I said, that they both pretty much all, you know, came up together. Well, not came up together, but that, again, like I said, that they are they have become the future of, of AEW for, for this company. And they're all, again, in their, you know, 20s or late 20s, uh, as we know. And they still all have, again, like, you know, big futures. And they still have, again, <clears throat> you know, big roles uh, to play in the next, well, you know, just going forward. So whatever happens and wherever these guys, you know, end up after uh, this fatal four-way match. But yeah, so we finally again are going to get to see these four guys competing again for the AW World Championship. You know, Jack Perry, MJF, Darby Allen, and Sammy Guevara here. So... So uh, I think that is going to be interesting. And um, but yeah, like I said, it, it, and it's a main event again that, that does feel like a breath of fresh air. I mean, it does feel like a bit of a breath of fresh air as well from seeing like John Moxley, you know, in the main events or seeing, you know, Kenny Omega or Brian Danielson. So I think again, in that regards, but like I said before, that these guys, like I said, you know, again, are the four, well, again, were the four pillars, you know, for AEW. So um, I think for them to get the main event here for Double or Nothing, I think, again, it's going to be a big deal for all four of these guys. Well, for all four of uh, all four of these 
uh, men here, especially again like for MJF, obviously, because again he's holding the AW World Championship. So yeah, so I think again th this again is a special match, you know, for many reasons. And again, it is a main event I'm looking forward to. This is a match that I'm looking forward to. Um, so, uh, you know, and, and initially, like like Jack, I mean, MJF and Sammy Guevara did try to form an alliance as well uh, over both, you know, to try and screw, you know, Darby Allen and Jungle Boy uh, to actually get into this match. Well, to make this match a four-way match as well. For the AEW World Championship. But ultimately though. It backfired. And that Darby Allen and Jungle Boy. Again you know. Did end up making this match. Uh, a fatal four way. So uh, yeah. So like I said before. I, I think this match again. Is like a once in a generation. Sort of match here. Uh, without a doubt. And, uh, and yeah. So. But if I have to give my prediction that out of uh, who I think is going to win here out of the four pillars, I do think MJF is going to probably retain the AEW World Championship because I just still feel that MJF isn't going to quite again lose the AEW World Championship yet. But like I said before, I just think that, like I said before, this is just a once in a generational match and um well main events as well uh for, for the company uh in the last three years because like i said i mean these guys all came up around the same time in aw and they know each other pretty well and um and like i mean yeah so but all, all four of these guys like i said can all end up you know being, you know, world champion, you know, Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara, you know, Jungle Boy, Ethan. But I just feel right now that out of the four of them right now that I still feel that MJF is, is above them. I just feel that MJF is above, you know, Jungle Boy and Darby Allen and Sammy Guevara at this point in their careers. And um, that he's just on the top of the mountain right now uh, in AEW and JF. So there we go uh, with that. So for that reason, that's why I am going to pick MJF to retain the AEW World Championship over Sammy Guevara, Darby Allen, and uh, Jungle Boy, uh, Jack Perry. And uh, to close out AEW Double or Nothing, still as uh, your AW World Champion. So that there, guys, then wraps up my predictions there for AW Double or Nothing 2023. Likewise, if you want to, again, give me your predictions for Double or Nothing uh, this year, well, this weekend, then again, you know, you can, uh, you know, comment uh, down below uh, in the comments. And uh, yeah, and, and just give me, you know, your thoughts on what you think um, will happen for AW Double or Nothing this year. Like I said before, I know again I've not been watching a lot of AW uh, as of late. But, you know, but, um, but I do think again that this could end up, you know, being a pretty good show. Being a good uh, Double or Nothing this year. And uh, yeah, so that is it, guys, for my predictions for Double or Nothing 2023. Likewise, again, I probably will do a follow up and I will give you guys, you know, my thoughts on Double or Nothing 2023 to tie in with my Night of Champions uh, recap and going over WWE Night of Champions as well. So that will again both be on the same day. And so, yeah, so don't forget again, guys, that if you like this video, if don't forget again, remember to subscribe and to uh, become a subscriber. Support me here on the Wrestling Fan for Life 98 channel again. You know, um, there's still again more news that is still to come here on the channel as well. I have again got more news uh, to share with you guys on Monday 
about an announcement on my channel, which I teased earlier on this week as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. And like I said, enjoy uh, Double or Nothing uh, this weekend, guys, and uh, Knight of Champions as well. And, um, and also Memorial uh, Day weekend as well. So there's a lot, again, that's going down within both WWE and AEW this weekend. So plenty, again, to, uh, to look out for. But, uh, yeah, so I'm out in this video, guys, and peace.